there. I got my cloth, mask, Coco. Coco, I'll be on the scooter. I won't be close to anybody. We're gonna be super safe and just gonna get out and get some air. So this is probably one of my favorite parts in Brooklyn because you've got these awesome basketball courts, this nice green turf, the Brooklyn Bridge over here, and of course, this great view of Manhattan. Welcome back to another video. Amanda's working in the apartment, and today's video is the time we bought a van in New Zealand, which was a much cooler ride than the scooter, although I do love this thing. So uh, yeah, let's get it started. Wait, I'm not. I'm trying to figure out location. Oh, Mark is <laughs> Mark is trying to drive right now. Yeah, this is the biggest hill in Auckland. <laughs> well, let me show oh, you. This is the hill. There's plenty of space in the background. I don't have someone walking. Yeah, no one's behind us. <laughs> Peace. You got it. The opposite side of the road. <laughs> Stay to the left, Mark. Stay to the left. <laughs> oh, how close is everything? I have no idea what's going on on that side. You're pretty close over here. I feel like you have more room over there. He's so close. But this is a two way. <laughs> Slight left, then turn left. That's not it. <laughs> Fuck. Booking hours, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, 7.30. We're trying to get a place to camp out tonight. This one campground was still $36 for both of us. Another one is $45. We found one that's $16. So it's still not like super cheap. So right now we're using this website or this app called CamperMate. Shows you all the campgrounds and it breaks them down like which ones are free, which ones are more premium. The nicer ones will come with like laundry and shower and all those facilities. We're trying to find the most basic for the night because we want to come back into Auckland tomorrow to have Carl finish uh, to do some work on the van that needs to get done. Mark's getting the hang of it. We're headed back to where we started, the very first uh, Airbnb. and. I just messaged her and asked if we could stay in her driveway. She agreed and said $10 is good. So that's where we're headed. Oh, look at the sunset. Oh, your silhouette is so beautiful. And now we're going through. We're gonna kind of clean stuff out. Disinfect this area. It's kind of sticky. And then organize our stuff. So you guys want to know what is funny? We have more counter space now <laughs> than we do in our, in our studio apartment. <laughs> this is quite possibly twice. Oh, more than that. This yeah. is the size. The size of the sink is the size of our counter space. 13 inches. See, we were a lion. 13 inches, that's what we're working with here. But our camper van was amazing. It was by far, I mean, we've only had two camper vans in our life, but that was by far the best camper van. And I love watching these videos. They make me feel so happy. So this is our van. So here's the bed, guys. Mark is just sliding it out. Man is making some dinner. Cooking for my man. And look at this, guys. One, two, three pieces of bread. That's a triple decker. First night in the van. And um, the bed's pretty comfortable. And I fit. Ooh. Pretty much stretch out, lay down. My feet just barely touch this, this cage thing back here. I'm excited. I have about 50% juice left in my laptop. I'm going to watch 
some of Mr. Robot season two and uh, call it a night. Amanda's, Amanda's closing up shop. We're still alive. The first night was a success. The sun gets a little warm in here. Had to crack the windows. And we might need to get new pillows. It's like a piece of foam. This is the worst pillow I've ever slept on. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. But everything else is pretty good. So. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. The van now belongs to Amanda. <laughs> Not insured yet. That's optional. What are you? We have things taken care of. So I had to get fixed today by a mechanic. So now we're in, took it on our first adventure. And we're heading to Piha Beach. But uh, we were told that Kari Kari Beach is on the way. It's really nice too. And that's where we are now. We had to put our flip flops back on because the sand is black. It's black and it's, and it's so really hot. Like Hmm. I feel like this is a bad idea. This is what? A bad idea. There are signs that say falling rocks. Or cliffs. Not even rocks. Falling cliffs. So let's climb up one. Sounds like a great idea. You can do it, Amanda. You can do it. Look at this view, though. So we both just agreed. I said, I feel like I'm in, as she said, in Jurassic Park. But look at this. I feel like I'm on the set of it. Going for the T-Rex to come smashing out. Piha Beach. Look at the view. The beach is right there. I think that's down like where we were. That's Kari yeah, Kari. I, so. I think this is a campsite. So at the campgrounds in New Zealand, you have to call this number. It takes about 15 minutes just to set up an account so they have all of your information. And she said, next time I call, it won't take as long. I just have to give them the email or my last name. For this campsite, it's 16, $8 per person. Yeah, I think we're all set for the night and then we'll see where we'll be tomorrow. Hopefully a free place. Mark's back here organizing. We'll wander around a little later. There's a, yeah, there's a hike right around the corner. Yeah, but it's like an hour hike. I'm trying to do that right now. Okay, bye. And it's pretty much clean, guys. So this is our view. That's where we were earlier. That's the beach. Yep. Have we given you a tour? No. I mean, not an official. We'll have to do an official tour, but yeah, here's... Yeah, once we have lights. Yeah, but here's the back part, and it's cool because this is basically our backyard and the view. But we got it all cleaned out, organized, finally, and now it's time to just chillax. I'm hungry. I'm gonna need some fruit. Okay. PB sandwich. Our sandwich, PB and J, all the way. So this is Pia Beach. That is Lion Rock. Yeah, and apparently a lot of people go missing here. Someone, they lost someone recently and they're still like looking. A days ago. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. 
Look at that water. No wonder that water is crazy looking. Oh yeah, we forgot to tell you. We have about an hour of daylight, so we're gonna go for a little hike. Try to catch the sunset, find a pretty spot, and uh, yeah, then go back and maybe watch, I don't know what, whatever Mark has downloaded. <laughs> oh, you still have more? Oh cool, Mr. Robot it is. Mark is really excited. Guys, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. It's a view. Oh, shit. This is a viewpoint. Wow. Wait, let's see. Wow. This is amazing, guys. Finally, we got to do some stuff in New Zealand. Very similar to Big Sur. Get comfy. I'm gonna go check out this little area down here. It looks like someone actually like cleared this area out. Wow. So nice. You ready to go sit down? No, I want to take a picture because I took my shoes off. Did you find it? Whatever it was, whatever poisonous thing it was you stepped on. Why, you just got a pedicure. Okay. Well, you pick your feet. I'm going to enjoy this sunset. Oh, I can't see. It's just like you can only see like the two dots. We survived. We're alive. No one robbed us in the middle of the night. <laughs> and now we're gonna make breakfast. Try to. Hopefully everything works. <laughs> and then, I don't know. Maybe we'll go for a hike or something. Chef Mark cooking up some eggs with a spoon. <laughs> well, look how you read these yolks. I know, they're they look, different. They look good. Nice hair. I know, this shit is so tall. <laughs> Good times. Oh, I'm so jealous. I know. I'm jealous of ourselves. <laughs> our past selves. I'm jealous of waking up in a new place every day. Going to bed in one place, waking up in another place. I know, but driving to those places. <laughs> you guys will see. But it's funny, right now, like what's happening here everywhere in the world, the social distancing, the quarantine, like kind of being confined to, in our instance, a small space. It's pretty relatable i mean to the video because right. aside from the whole well we were pretty socially distanced though too we weren't like yeah and we were going together on hikes with people. by ourselves yeah so it would have been very similar it would have been a good time yeah. to be doing that right no. now so going through this footage is great because a lot of the small details a lot of these things i had totally forgotten about <laughs> i don't remember this stuff but i do remember some of the like the feelings mm -hmm. and the <laughs> one thing i re i remember well a couple feelings was driving the van for the first time a bit of shame <laughs> because you started rolling backwards because or? i was rolling backwards and <laughs> i was just like people were watching and then of course anxiety about being on the other side of the road and all that more so i remember just like the excitement i know i said it in the video but being free of just being like where do you want to go it could also be overwhelming because it's like it trying would, to figure out what we were going to do, what the game plan was. And it's like yeah. there's this whole country that we need to see, but we only have so much time. So like we have to plan accordingly and figure out what the details worth it. were the overwhelming part. But yeah. the whole idea of it was just like, we can go do anything we want. <laughs> yeah, that it was, was so cool. It was. I do miss that. Now we're, in a, now we're stuck. I know we're going to be tomorrow when we wake up. <laughs> Yep. Oh. I'll probably be wearing the same thing too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll shower tomorrow. <laughs> just kidding, I showered today, you gross hogs. I don't know, but we just never ended videos when we were in New Zealand. I think we would just record kind of willy nilly. Okay, so you guys know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. And come back Friday because there'll be another video. Yeah. I'm excited to watch the videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Coco, you didn't want to come hang with us?